people like that, you see. People come into our life. They come and play a certain role. Some will play a good role and some will play not a good role. But one thing is, whatever experience what we go through, it is contributing in bringing us to fulfill our soul dharma. Bringing us to progress, to advance. Like I said, you are a devotee. You know, a devotee have a certain understanding of what is life itself. You know, and what is the goal of life. So, based upon that, you see, let every challenge, whatever you meet on the way, remind yourself continuously, like I, I was saying, you know, Styron was saying, uh, be, remind yourself of your friendship. You know, friendship is such a wonderful relationship, more wonderful than couple. Well, is your friendship. Because when friendship disappeared, your relationship is over. Then you can't be happy. Why you can't be happy? Then there will be demand from each another. No. There will be, you have to be how I want you to be. And each one will pull their side. This is where problem arise. And I guess nobody like problem. Nah. But some, some embrace it and go through it. It's not that the moment uh, a problem arises, you run away. No. In very small things, sometimes big problem can arise, you know, because of misunderstand. So when there is misunderstand, you know, just try to see it differently. Once somebody went to a psychologist, you know, said both husband and wife went and they were arguing always, you know, I'm happy and no, she's like that. She said, he is like that. So each one was blaming each another. The psychologist was looking. I said, okay, what is the reason? Please tell me. I said, oh, you know, when she pushed the toothpaste out, she pressed it in the middle. <laughs> and I don't like, I like to be pressed down and push it up. <laughs> Small thing. I said, okay, that is a problem. I said, yes, this is very much, I don't like it. I said, yes, that is easy. Buy your own toothpaste. <laughs> Have two toothpaste. So you can do whatever you want with your toothpaste and you can do whatever you want with your toothpaste. <laughs> easy solution. So then he said to the, the Mataji, he said to her, listen, you know one thing you can do. If he's arguing because of the toothpaste, tomorrow, you know, do something. Put your toothpaste in the middle of the uh, living room and sing some bhajan and da dance around it as if you're dancing around Krishna. So he says, if he asks, what are you doing? Are you going crazy? Just say, that's my toothpaste. I do whatever I want with it. <laughs> Your toothpaste is there. <laughs> if I want to sing, I sing for my toothpaste. <laughs> I want to dance for my toothpaste, I dance for my toothpaste. 
There is no need to argue. You don't need to make your life miserable and unhappy. So, the majority of the time it's that, you know. And on that way, you see, if you find solution to make your life joyful, to f you find solution to advance together. That's the whole thing about the knowledge what Bhagavan have given to us. No? Why do you think he have given knowledge? To make us unhappy? You see, we have long time forget who we are. In this world, who everybody said, yes, I am so, I am this, I am that. It's based only on the outside reality only. It's not based on the eternal reality of the true reality of knowing who you are. Your name which has been given, has been given to you only. That also by your parents. They like it, they have discussed, they have fight and then they give you the name. Uh, very often I said, I never wanted to call you like that. Your father. Eh? Tell me. Look, look how, how Rina Ben is laughing so much. How much you have discussed the name of your children? Eh? You see, even that is fake. It's not who you are. Because you don't know who you are, you have acknowledged, you have accepted, yes, that is my identity, that is my quality, that is me. But who is this me? You take birth, you don't know who you are, you died, you don't know who you are. Then what kind of life have you lived? Eh? Is that life? You, you were born in unknown and then died in unknown. Life has been given to you as the most precious. You know how many souls want to be born on this world? How many are fighting to, in a line to be born to be born here it's not that easy and yet once we have this human life we do everything to make this life miserable to make us unhappy we take all the chance we transform it into misery how can we be happy That's why knowledge is important, you know. That true knowledge, firstly, to know who you are. And not just to know, to awake into your true self without any fear. And not only that, to get to know who that soul belongs to. Soul don't belong to each another soul belong only to him. No? That is how to have to make it clear inside. Even once you get married, you are not possess uh, possession of each another. You belong to him. No? And your soul long for that. The same way you have that longing to be together, other recognition, your soul also long to unite with that supreme reality itself. That you should not, not forget about it. That's why, you see, you have been given the Bhagavad Gita as a reminder. No, no. Every day, remind yourself. You know, if your partner is for, forgetting about it, say, hey, <laughs> do it together, not separate you know? and tomorrow when you have children don't love your children more than you love each another don't do that mistake this is the biggest mistake that everybody does you know they let go of their relationship they let go of that partner that that uh, love that they feel for each another they let go of that friendship 
they start giving attention to that, ch that child which they don't even know. <laughs> the same way, you see, your parents also is very important. No, no. Why? That wife or that husband of yours is only now, you know. Your parents have care for you, have looked after you, each one of you, much more than you know each another. That you should never forget. That's why in one in the vow, there is respect towards the elders of that family, from both sides. No. More than that, you see. Why I said not to love, not to I say, give much love to your children, because love to your children, children will not learn from that like this. You know, what the use of giving love to the child when your own relationship are in uh, jeopardy? Eh? When you are fighting like cats and dogs, and then you think you can be able to love your children? You will never be able to love your children. Your children will learn only by looking at you. Psychology will tell you, but the children learn by visual, what they see, what they hear. It's not what, what you give to them. So honor that inside of you. Then you will be happy. Then your children will be happy. They will learn something which they will treasure throughout the life. That's why keep loving each another. Don't divert that love towards the child. Children will learn through looking at all of you. And this is natural. You can't not love your children. It is a natural thing, no? Whether you want it or not, that love will flow. Uh, you don't have any choice. So. But set an example. And become that raw example how to spread that love you know? and every day don't forget to read the Bhagavad Gita and do your chanting of the divine name and do your sadhana together so not only having sex together you know <laughs> but do your sadhana also together do your meditation your prayer and everything together you know? Oh, yeah. very good day.